Hey, it's Joe. Is your entire automated test suite made out of just UI and end tests? If so, I think you're making a big mistake. You really should stop focusing on including some API tests along with your GUI tests. Those that know me know I'm a huge fan of API testing, and I think a lot of companies are not leveraging API tests to really get them the coverage they need in a quick, fast, reliable way. That's why I was really excited to have the folks on Blaze Mirror on Test Talks this week to talk about API functional testing. Here's a quick clip that talks about what API functional testing is. To get the full interview, make sure to check out testtalks.com forward slash 209. We've been doing, uh, you know, JMeter performance testing since the beginning, and, and we've got other tools we do too. But we found that a significant chunk of our, our customer population was using us to run load tests that, that had exactly one user in them and maybe even one iteration. And you think, well, that's kind of a strange load test. And what they were doing was they were literally testing API endpoints uh, using uh, continuous integration and running on our platform. So they were, they were, as part of their software development cycle, they were actually hitting API endpoints every time code got changed to make sure they were still available, uh, performant, and well formed right and so they sort of brought it to us and then the, the issue was well hey we don't need a graph of response times over a period uh, uh you know uh, we, don't, we don't need a, a bunch of graphs to go across an hour long of time we're running this test you know boom once and we're done so it really became more of an issue of how do we look at a better way to report on this cases that people were already doing so we, and the reason we call it api functional testing is that when we say functional testing most people's first where they first go in their head is UI functional testing. Um, and in this case, this is a protocol level, right? So we're, we're, we're testing back ends and really we're not testing a, a GUI. Uh, so that's why we call it API functional testing. Yeah, I think so. The, the, the basic idea is that, okay, you're doing performance testing on blaze meter, but before you run, for example, a large scale load test uh, against your API, you want to make sure that it actually works at all, right? So you want to do the functional test first and then move on to the performance test. So this is sort of the workflow that we, we have in mind here.